Tails' final missions in the Eternal Engine starts with mission 1 that requires you to get 35,000 points. This is no complicated task by any means, just like any other Tails mission, because we're going to end the level with over 40,000 points, 5,000 more than what is needed. With a couple practices in the beginning area, you should be able to breeze through and avoid any traps or any damage that may come your way. So what I would do is literally just take uh, maybe a couple restarts and just get used to the very beginning so you can go as fast as you can, so you can have some good time and speed, and that way you can also know where every single enemy is and get the best bonus combos that you can. Probably once you get to this checkpoint is probably your, is probably your best bet. So now we're going to just keep going along, targeting everything that you can in sight, just like you always do. Uh, but this time, in the left room here, behind this chow box, there is going to be a switch. You see it? And then uh, before we leave the room, get your two-point combo. And that switch opens this door that is now open over here. Take your time right here because uh, there will be guys trying to shoot you and you don't want to fall underneath. And uh, you'll be able to break the floor in several parts of this level. Just like in, uh, right there that we did. You're able to blow it away and it tries to suck you in. Now, did you see what I just did right there? As soon as I got off there, I nearly jumped instantly right down. Just fell right down. Now, right here, I'm being careful because there's going to be guys coming on the way. There's always people trying to snipe you. Uh, and always in the worst places, too. So you just got to take an extra step to be careful. Uh, of course, as soon as I say that, I get, <laughs> I get railed myself twice here. But you hit that switch right there, this will keep the block up, so then directly in the middle, there's going to be a pulley. That'll take you right up, jump to the next one, and proceed. Now we're going to be back uh, uh, seeing these guys again. If, if you're doing story mode, you're like, oh, jeez, I remember these guys when I went through the first time. They're, they can be troublesome and they're annoying, but you can just walk right up to them when they're alone like that, and you'll shoot out your little extra attack that will just kill them. You don't need their, their head popped out. Which is a great invention on both Tails and Eggman's parts, respectively. Doing great, we got health, not anywhere close to dying, we've got a good score going on. By the time we're done with this level, we're going to have the score that we need without the time bonus. Now as you can see right there, I jumped, I was able to get a better score. Right here I jumped over some shots that were coming at me. You can go slower here on this part if you need to. This is a very dangerous place, and I messed this up a few times myself because of careless, simple mistakes. See, like, right there how that blew out? One time I accidentally was on it and shot it and fell below. Where well, you can't see a lot of the enemies sometimes, or they're just right out of range. Patience is okay. This is the one part of the level where you can really take your time. You can be out of here by the 3.5 minute mark instead of the 3.10 mark. You know, give yourself 20 extra seconds. Maybe even a whole minute. Okay. You see right here, uh, everything was behind me. So I just did a quick little circle around with the control stick to see what I could get back there. Trying to get as much combo as I can here. See how close I was to the edge? Almost made another simple mistake. So we're going to try flying over here. And what's this? Oh, the door is closed and the switch is above it. So what, 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 do, you, what do we do? I don't know, what's this guy say? Door is locked? Oh, it must be a switch around here somewhere. Oh yes, it's on top. But there's another area down here. And this is the way that we're going to proceed every time. We're going to just go right through here, highlight as many things as possible, destroy them. You know, time it accordingly so you don't get sucked in. Like right there, I'm like, oh no! Right here, I wait because... If I fire that, and I blow away the floor and the, and the pulley is right there, it's a lot scarier. <laughs> He'll make it, but it's just terrifying. Save yourself the terrifying. I think with, with smarts and strategy. As you can see, we're still doing excellent on health. Now this particular point is, is kind of fun. You're just flying around. Oh, barely got the beetle. Uh, just bouncing around and your aim is really wacky. We'll just highlight as many things as you can. And look at that. See right there? That's where the biggest combo is. You can still use your, your jet booster thing to kind of hover for a second. So you can get some good points. 
But for the most part, just highlight what you can. It doesn't matter if you miss something, but that big combo is definitely worth it. Now through here, I just I just take the time and, and highlight some extra things. Uh, but you don't have to if you're doing excellent from early on. Uh, you do want to get some, yes, definitely. But if you look at your score, you'll see, hey, I'm doing fine. Well, look right here. Look at all the combos we're getting on these things. Extreme, extreme. So we're just going to keep getting awesome. Look at that score. Already 37,000 points. We only needed 35,000. So with the time bonus, it's going to shoot us up. So like I said, patience on the one walkway is the best thing that you can do. And aside from that, just walk in the park.